We've gotten quite a few suggestions asking about what tools I use the most. So here are the tools that I carry every day to fix any boat. Today we won't be looking into the toolbox though, we will be going through all of the tools that I carry in my tool bag. Because these are the tools that I use to do most of the work that needs to be done on a boat. Most of what's in my toolbox are things that are specific to specific jobs, whereas the tools in the bag get used daily and cover most of the work that you will come across when working on a boat. For the bag, this is a Vito Pro Pack, and it's been a good bag, but I'm really not the biggest fan of big bags. Doesn't matter which company, it's any big bag. Mainly because we just load them up with so many tools that they just get too heavy to carry around. But this is a nice bag, I did have to do a little modifying when I first got it, just to get all the different sizes and shapes of tools to fit into all these little different pouches. But that's not uncommon, and this week's contest prize is actually going to be a Vito bag. So stick around for the technician's tag and your chance to win a bag. Before going over the tools, we'll clean off the top of the toolbox and then dump out all the tools from the bag. Once they're all out, we'll lay them across the box and go over them. So here we got some blue tape, use that for anything really, I use this blue tape for um, oil filters, putting those on, got a pair of large channel locks, some long needle nose, some smaller channel locks, but these are actually just, nah, they're terrible, some more needle nose, these are a nice set of dykes, but I use these only for pulling out cotter pins on the prop so i don't really use those for cutting wires or anything like that large flathead for doing lower unit screws and all kinds of other stuff a long phillips a shorter phillips number two phillips flathead a small flathead a number one phillips and then two little stubbies for a fit number two and just a flathead then we got a quarter inch drive nut driver so I use this for mainly hose clamps, same as the 5 16 nut driver. A set of picks, different different ends on them for doing all kinds of different things, pulling seals, stuff like that. These are a set of Odeker clamps. And what these do are they crimp down the clamps like these, which are found on a bunch of different types of fuel rails, um, Optimaxes, HPDIs, just miscellaneous engines. Now these are for bullets, bullet connectors, so for different like Yamahas and stuff like that you can round over a, a bullet connector, spark plug pullers, pulling out spark plug wires, and then these are a set of flush cutters. So these are really nice for doing zip ties, flush cutting them so that way they don't cut you whenever you stick your arm down in somewhere. Here we got a pair of wire strippers, just normal wire strippers, a set of battery cable cutters water separator wrench for two different sizes a big one and a small one oil filter wrench this is a universal one then yamaha's fuel filter wrench mercury red top fuel filter wrench just a regular set of vice grips cheap hair pliers regular crescent wrench hose crimpers these will shut off a hose and clamp it off pressure testing um, shutting off the vents for pressure testing fuel tanks optimaxes and the fuel rails um these right here i don't even know why i still carry those so i can throw these away these double hinged long bent tip needle nose getting stuff out of cowlings when you drop it down in there those are really nice to have a little punch nice little punch set of square tips for doing just different things you come across a different nuts mainly you don't see a lot of that stuff on a boat but I still carry those in there this is a 3 8 adapter to put in the drill for the impact in case this one breaks because I use this all the time it's just a six inch extension uh, with a 10 mil on it the golden 10 mil you can do most of the stuff with that 10 mil. Just a couple screwdrivers, little flat heads, 5 16 inch nut driver, or a short number two, quick impact, uh, six inch number two impact, 
and a number three impact so I carry two of the number twos just in case whenever this one snaps and then I metric allen wrenches standard allen wrenches just a regular utility knife and then the good old claw hammer nice to have in the bag this is a steering cap wrench for sea star steering steering end caps those are that's a nice thing to have on then the torch heat connectors butt connectors heat shrinks this is a shunt tool for working on mercury's in your dts systems that way you can activate the engine read it with a computer and control it without having the boat connected to it which is why i also need this which is where we can hook this up to a battery and that will allow us to hook into the engine with clean power to allow the system to turn on then i got you know regular electrical tape red green port starboard running rigging and stuff like that to identify the cables whenever we run them through just regular old scraper blade two of them in different style wire brush cleaning in stuff like that off loctite and some thread sealant stuff then there's this little tool which is extremely useful when you need it it has got a quarter inch drive on one side the ratchets and on the other side you can put a, a bit in there whether the one a number two whatever and you can ratchet so if you got something in a really tight spot you can stick this in there and then ratchet and get the, the screw out use this a lot on fuel tank cinders a magnet you're gonna have a magnet dropping stuff pick it back up that actually is a fuel hose i use for testing fuel systems you guys have seen that video molly lube some extra grease it's nice to have an old worn out piece of emery cloth i could probably throw that away tape measure gonna have tape measure and then this quarter inch adapter for the impact with a number 14 swivel on it taking off the bolts and nuts for a yamaha lower unit and then also the same extension for the impact with a 5 16 for doing hose clamps and then also all the bolts to the chaps for mercury engines then just a quarter inch extension this is a 5 8 spark plug puller so this spark plug it's got a magnet in there so you can take out your spark plug and it'll hold the spark plug in the socket without dropping it same thing it's a 13 16 spark plug with this one i think this one rubber in it a little quarter inch quarter inch swivel ratchet with a 14 mil on there keep that for lower units mirror gotta have a mirror whole three eighths inch swivel that comes in handy sometimes optimax spark plugs when you don't split the chaps but most of the time i split the chaps so i don't use that very often this is a 12 swivel which is always used for doing the air box on a yamaha to get back behind the air box for that bottom bolt 13 swivel which i don't remember what exactly i used this for a long handled swivel head ratchet same thing here's a quarter inch with a four inch extension with a 10 mil i never take that 10 mil off unless i put it over here onto the impact but that's a must have three eighths inch ratchet three inch extension on the quarter inch sockets i really don't ever even bring these out of my tool bag because of the 10 mils i have already set up and those two right there i, I really don't even use these but i've got a 10 mil then a, a 12 mil half inch 7 16 3 8 11 30 seconds and a 5 16 3 8 inch sockets now these i do use all of these I've got the 5 16 3 8 7 16 half inch 9 16 5 8 3 quarter 14 mil and a 12 mil and now to the wrenches i i carry probably more wrenches than most people do simply because i just work on a lot of different brands so i use most of these except for this 18 i don't know why i carry that 18 i could probably get rid of that and actually and i really don't ever use these ratcheting wrenches so i should probably stop carrying those and lighten up my bag but i really come with a 13 16 3 quarter 11 16 
5 eighths, 5 eighths ratcheting end, 9 sixteenths, half inch, half inch ratcheting in, just all kinds of different things, half inches battery cables and stuff like that, battery nuts, 17, 7 sixteenths, 3 8 30, 11 30 seconds, 5 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths ratcheting, I'll probably keep that and then the quarter inch. I can't remember the last time I pulled that quarter inch out and used it on anything. 19. 19 mil. Um, I can't think of what what I use that for. 18 mil. That I don't ever use. I don't know why I carry it. 17 mil is the power tilt and trim on a Yamaha to fill the reservoir. 15 mil. That is the fuel rail bolt nuts on an optimax 14 mil or lower units the ratcheting 13 mil tensioners on yamaha 12 mil our water pump and just everything else on a yamaha 12 millimeter ratcheting i probably should stop carrying that too because i just don't use these that much or the 11 mil but the 10 mil you got to use the 10 mil for everything so keep those in in the bag a couple of markers for marking stuff up writing on fuel filters oil filters dating stuff like that zip ties gotta have some of these so you can put a screw in tie and strap stuff down to the walls get tension relief on your wires set of cheap zip ties these are not hose zip ties just for strapping up wires now these are for hose zip ties so little zip ties but these are also the hose style zip ties impact number two six inch extension and then a camera bag for you guys a bunch of different adapters batteries sd cards tripod and then another suction cup tripod with the camera on there too now if you want a chance to win the bag let us know which tool do you think is the most important tool in this bag in the comment section below and include a hashtag tools but this is everything that i carry in my tool bag on a daily basis don't forget to hit that like button and we'll see you next week <laughs>